Hi, I'm Indah Lutfia. In this video, I will demonstrate the reflection as one of some transformation types. In the discussion, here I'm using a geo board, the rubber bands to connect and to form the X and Y axis, and also pins. Reflection means flipping a point or shape over to create a mirror image. For example, if we have point A, negative 3, 7 over the y-axis, then what is A prime? First, let's create the x and y-axis using rubber bands. This is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Now, point A is negative 3, 7. Ini hasilnya, ini adalah sumbu X dan ini adalah sumbu Y. Sekarang titik A adalah negatif 3. From the origin point, 0, 0. Since X is a negative value, we move 3 units to the left. 1, 2, 3. So, this is negative 3. Then, 7 is a positive Y value. It means we move 7 units upwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And here is point A. Next, it is reflected over the y-axis. This is the y-axis which is positioned vertically. So, to get the result, let's count the reflection of point A over the y-axis. Okay, the x value is 3. 1, 2, 3. It means that to make a reflection, we should move 3 units from the y-axis. 1, 2, 3. Well, this is point A prime. We can count what the value of A prime is. Let's start from point O, 0, 0, or the origin point. We move 1, 2, 3, which means the x value is 3. What is the y value? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, A prime is 3, 7. Let's work on another problem. Suppose that we have four points. Point A, negative 2, negative 1. B, negative 2, negative 4. C, negative 5, negative 1. D, negative 5, negative 4. They are reflected over the x-axis. What is the image of A, B, C, D? First, let's make point A negative 2, negative 1 from the origin point 0, 0. Since the x value is negative 2, we move two units to the left 1, 2. Then, the y value is negative 1. So, we move one unit downwards. This is point A. Next, point B, negative 2, negative 4. Let's take another pin. The x value is negative 2. So, we move two units to the left, 1, 2. And the y value is negative 4. So, we move four units downward, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is point B. Then, point C, negative 5, negative 1. We take another pin. The x value is negative 5. So, we move 5 units to the left, and the y value is negative 1, so we move 1 unit downward. And this is point C. For point D, negative 5, negative 4, the x value is negative 5. From the origin point, we move 5 units to the left, and the y value is negative 4. Kita bergerak ke arah kiri, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, from the origin point, we move 4 units downwards. Well, this is point D. Next, let's connect points A, B, C, and D using a rubber band. Let's 
then it should be reflected over the x-axis this is the x-axis let's find out the value of point a that is reflected over the x-axis the x value is initially negative 2 then the y value is negative 1 if it is reflected over the x-axis let's count the distance from x-axis to point a it is one unit it means that the distance from the x-axis to the image should be 1 over the x-axis and this is point a prime the x value remains negative 2 while the y value change from negative 1 to 1 so point a prime is negative 2 1 Negatif 2, Y-nya 1. Lalu, pada titik B, kita hitung, kita tahu jarak dari sumbu X terhadap... For point B, we know the distance from X-axis to point B is 4 units. It means that the distance from X-axis to B' prime is also 4 units. Point B prime is positions over the x-axis. Here is the B prime. Let's count the value of point B prime. We count first the x value. It is 2 units. And the y value is 4 units. So point B prime is negative 2, 4. Now, point C, the distance from x-axis to point C is 1 unit, and it is reflected over the x-axis. Therefore, the distance from x-axis to point C' prime is also 1 unit, or 1 unit over the x-axis. So, this is point C' prime. Let's count the value from the origin point, 0, 0. So, point C prime is negative 5, 1. Next, point D. The distance from point D to the x-axis is 4 units. So, when it is reflected over x-axis, it becomes point D prime. That is 4 units over the x-axis. Now, let's count the value of point D prime. The x value is negative 5 and the y value is 4. So, point D prime is negative 5, 4. Kita mau tahu berapa nilai dari titik B ini? 0,0. Kita bergerak negatif 1, negatif 2, negatif 3, negatif 4, negatif 5. Lalu, 1, 2, 3, 4. Maka nilai D aksen adalah negatif 5,4. After we determine the image of A, B, C, D, let's connect the points using a rubber band. Here is the image of A, B, C, D. So, we can conclude that if a point is reflected over the y-axis, the x value becomes the opposite. Maka, yang berubah nilainya, adalah pada sumbu pada titik x nya if it is reflected over the x axis the y value becomes the opposite tetapi jika direfleksikan terhadap sumbu x yang berubah nilainya adalah pada titik y nya atau pada berubah pada titik x y nya titik x nya tetap y nya berubah yang tadinya negatif berubah menjadi Positive. Well, that's all about reflection in transformation. Thank you.